David's story of conversion from crime to Christ, was first published in his book, Converted on LSD Trip, on the 11th of February 2001. This was exactly 30 years to the day after it appeared as headline news on the Bucks Herald newspaper in Ellsbury. The Bucks Herald Thursday the 11th of February, 1971, headline news. David Clark, who had a three-year career of undetected crime, experienced a Christian conversion whilst suffering from the effects of LSD. He told Aylesbury magistrates, on Tuesday, after wrestling with his conscience for a year, he confessed to 24 crimes, and gave information leading to the recovery of over £1,000 worth of stolen property. In court he pleaded guilty to charges of stealing a £300 color television set from an old people's home, a £20 spray gun, and a hydraulic jack. He asked for 21 other charges to be taken into consideration, including stealing a builder's shed, two cars, and an electric arc welder, two other TV sets, two compressors, and a road trailer. Clark, 21 of Finmere Crescent said his reputation in the town had been that of man who was enjoying himself, I used to sell drugs to young people, and indulge in permissive sex he declared. Religion to me was rubbish, and for sissy people who could not stand on their own feet, he said, within my heart I was searching for truth, and a meaning to life, he had good prospects of getting on in life he went on but was not satisfied with what I had, I was greedy, selfish and boastful. Clark had been using pep pills, and marijuana since he was 16, he told the court, but it was after taking LSD that he experienced, what he described as a major thing in my life. He described the torment he suffered, as a result of taking the drug, and went on I warn any young person who hears my testimony, the effects of LSD are so bad, and I warn you to stay clear. While in this condition he said he called on the name of Jesus and his torment went from him. Jesus Christ spoke to me as clearly as I speak here today saying, David I am with you. Mr. Murray, of Manor Crescent. Wendiver said he was habitually skeptical of sudden conversions, and preferred to put them to the test of time. The time which had elapsed since Clark's profession of faith had convinced him that this young man would now be salt and light to society, he is in truth, a new man and had experienced what Christ called a second birth, Murray said Clark now put himself out to be of assistance read the Bible intensely, always carried a New Testament, attended a wide circle of churches and would spend hours in discussion on spiritual things. Clark's difficulty during the months spent deciding how to make amends for his past had been the problem of accusing himself, without informing on others. Passing sentence the chairman of the magistrates, Colonel Tetley, told Clark, you have pleaded guilty to three offenses and asked us to take into consideration 21 others and accept a record over a short period of time, which is quite the worst we have ever seen. We have considered what we ought to do and have come to the conclusion that your evident desire to become a martyr is one we are not going to gratify. He gave Clark a conditional discharge for three years, pointing out that the sincerity of his conversion could be shown by his behavior during that period. The whole court appearance was reported in the local newspapers, and in the National Evening Standard, the news headline of the Bucks Herald read, why he confessed to 24 crimes and converted on LSD trip. Whilst the Bucks advertiser read, man speaks of horrors on LSD. After this news report in 1971, David held a meeting at the Beaton Strict and particular Baptist Chapel, almost 14 years after his conversion from crime to Christ, in 1983. This was reported as front page news in the Bucks Herald newspaper as the meeting was arranged to help his former criminal friends in crime. Go and watch the video of this event. Former thief says, come and be helped.